my new office here. I look terrific. I my hair came out cockeyed today. I don't know what the hell's going on. Um, I don't know what the hell I'm saying. I just read in Starbucks. I read in Starbucks. Um, Howard Schultz created Starbucks. I love that guy because he's a Jew, and that's not why. He just happened to be Jewish, but he's, he's an entrepreneur. He started Starbucks. If I came to you years ago and said, "Look, I have an idea. I want to have coffee shops." Not like they had coffee shops. Coffee shops used to be diners. And now I'm going to have a coffee shop and just get coffee. That's all it is. Would you say, oh, fantastic idea. If I said to you, I want to start selling water in a bottle. Would you say, oh, that's everyone will buy water in a bottle. You say, what, out of your mind? You put it on the tap, you have water. No one's going to pay for water. You get it for free. I love these entrepreneurs. And I just read a story here that it said that Howard Schultz, who created Starbucks, says that he released a letter. What the hell does it say here? During, he wrote a letter, and he wrote a letter to an open letter. He wrote an open letter to all the customers of Starbucks. He wrote an open letter to all the customers of Starbucks, and it said, "Stop bringing your firearms into the Starbucks stores." He's a genius, that guy. He wrote a letter to all the customers. Would you stop bringing your guns into the stores? What the hell's the matter with you? I didn't know you were supposed to do that. Uh, thank God he did it, because here I am. I'm going to Starbucks. Everyone could have had a gun on them the whole time. I didn't even know that. He wrote a letter. He said to the customer, do me a favor. You're coming to get a cup of coffee? Leave your gun in the car. <laughs> I don't know what the hell he said. But he said, stop bringing your guns into the store. He wrote a letter. To the, I didn't know yet. So meanwhile, does that mean when I go to Walmart, I love Walmart. I love it. I, I get cheap toilet paper, cheap uh, razors, soap. It's the cheapest place to get razors and soap and toilet paper and toothbrushes. Does that mean I never saw a sign there? Customers, please leave your guns outside. I never saw that. Is, is that saying that if, if I don't see a sign in a store that says leave your gun in the car, leave your gun outside, leave your gun with your wife, leave your gun with your kid, whatever, it is, whatever the, the sign should say, should I assume that everybody has a gun wherever I'm walking around? Is this the wild, wild west? You tell me. Is anyone listening to what the hell I'm saying? I never, I, I can't understand why he would write a letter to the customers of Starbucks and say, leave your firearms here. Here it says that here. Leave your firearms. Stop bringing your firearms into the stores. Is the coffee that bad? Everyone has to come in with a gun? <laughs> why would people bring their guns to Starbucks? I know they bring their computers. I can't figure that part out either. I don't know why they bring their computers, bring their books, now they're bringing their guns. What the hell is going on in this house? Hey, go to DavidBronstein.com. That's the only place you should go. And if you go to my site, leave your gun away. Don't point the gun to the site. Leave your gun outside. I'm going to write a letter all my fans. Leave your guns away from the site. Go to DavidBronstein.com. i got the biggest TV products. To check. That's the only place you want to go. If you want to succeed, i got the biggest success stories, the biggest sites, the biggest girls. Everything's at DavidBronstein.com. Just leave your guns out of Starbucks. That's all I want you to do. DavidBronstein.com. Goodbye.